times a couple of hundred, right? So you've got all these volcanoes all call them going off at once, and they're all ejecting gas and dust particles into the atmosphere, which caused a big blanket around the Earth, which blocked out the sun, right? And the sun is what keeps us warm, obviously. And with uh, the sun being blocked out, uh, the planet cooled down, and that's when glaciers formed. Glaciers are what's carved out all of our glens and the mountains and stuff, you know. But glaciers, they're not just big sheets of ice. As they move slowly across the land under their own weight, right, so what happens is like it snows or whether you have snow at that point or whatever, but it's actually probably fell as ice out of the sky, you know. Uh, and then it all accumulates, then there's so much pressure and weight that, that then gravity gets involved and then it starts to slip downhill. Right? And it's so fucking heavy that it's, it's really, really abrasive that it snaps off rock and stuff, you know, and starts carving shit out. But a lot of the rock gets then gets enveloped into the uh, into the ice. So there's lots of lots of rock and lots of ice, which makes it even more abrasive. It's kind of like kind of like big giant sea, uh, sheets of sandpaper, you know. But when this one melted down here, uh, it, it melted and it deposited all the rock that was inside it lying around. They're called glacial erratics. So as we start getting into Ranakbur in about two or three miles, uh, you'll see all these big boulders all lying around, and that's what they are. They're, they're about a big sheet of ice. Pretty cool, huh? Well, that's one of my favourite mountains in Scotland on the right there. It's called Chalea de Mor. And it means mountain of the big herdsman. Because he herds you into, uh, into Glen Coe. Uh, my my uh, climbing partner, Tommy, he assures me, and he, the, this is our next challenge, he's going to take me up that mountain. He's a guide, a mountain guide, but we're going to go up the front of him. So can you see where that main, main big river is to the left, it's coming down? You follow that river and then you start going up into where the cloud disappears. And it's, a, it's classed as a grade one, uh, a grade one scramble, which means you don't use ropes. So you're free climbing up there. I'm shitting my pants. <laughs> but he assures me it's, it's safe. I'm not sure I believe you this. This is the guy I told you that's got the mushrooms in the castle. <laughs> <laughs> but if you guys are, are like a proper mountaineer, proper hiking and stuff, he's got his own business that he does on the site uh, where he takes people up the hills without the mushrooms, obviously. Well, unless you pre-book. <laughs> 